My name is Peter Sunday. Our landlord's son wanted to rent his home out to FEMA for $8,000 a month. So they kicked us out of our house so he could move into our home, my wife and my two children and I. Apocalyptic images from Hawaii. Devastation Hawaii. and heartbreak. This is now the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. A year ago, wildfires burned across Maui, killing more than 100 people in Lahaina, destroying thousands of structures and displacing nearly 13,000 residents. Immediately after the fires, Hawaii Governor Josh Green and his Lieutenant Governor issued a series of emergency proclamations aimed at preventing most evictions on the island. But there were exceptions to that proclamation that still allowed landlords to evict their tenants in certain circumstances. That included situations in which a landlord themselves wanted to move into a property or they had an immediate family member that planned to move in. They used the tactic of getting around the proclamation that said, you couldn't evict long-term tenants to house a FEMA family. Maui already had some of the highest rents in the country before the fires. Afterward, the median rent on Maui rose by 44%, according to a recent estimate. Emergency housing programs, including one run by FEMA, started paying landlords upwards of two times the going rate for a long-term rental. In some cases, this meant that landlords were getting paid $8,000 a month for a two-bedroom house. Tenants' rights groups said that these rates incentivize landlords to start kicking people out. Now that we've been ev evicted, it's almost impossible to find someone that'll rent to you. During an eviction hearing, Sunday told the judge that he didn't think that it was fair that he and his family were being kicked out of their home so that his landlord's son could move in. Here's what the judge said in response. There's nothing I can do about that. That is what the law allows. So that needs to be taken on with the governor. Um, our mayor or legislature, because there are people who very likely take advantage of that. Just four days after the Sundays were evicted, Governor Green updated the emergency proclamation and narrowed the exception that was used to kick the Sundays out of their home. Now, landlords who wanted to move themselves or a family member in had to provide a sworn affidavit that explained exactly why they wanted to move in and also swear that they were not receiving any money from any government aid programs that were meant to house wildfire survivors. But by then, it was already too late for the Sundays. They had to pack up their belongings and give away their pets. To this day, they still haven't found a stable home. You know, I think the most important part that people have to understand is that by, by doing things like this, you displace our family. <clears throat> you just, another family is already displaced. And now we have to go out into this market and compete with other families who've lost everything. But my hope for the future, stable, affordable housing so that I can raise my kids, you know? I don't have to worry every day.